Mayong hapon git sa atong tanan. Isa kinaman ini kakahigayunan kad pribilehiyo nga makawali naman ko sang pulong sa Ginoo sini nga hapon. And to uh, this afternoon it's quite uh, rainy and gabi sumo ang pabag-ubag usang ang ano ni sa atong nya nya weather. So I hope that everyone is uh, well and healthy despite sa mga uh, lain-lain nga ng weather kay ginabatchad natong subong sukis at kaulan, pagbuwas mainit, mainit, uh, maulan. Pero sa biyak sining tanan, magapadayon kita Japon ning atong tigipusoon nagadaba-daba uh, sa pagpamati kag pag uh, pag uh, pamalandong sang ulong sa Ginoo. So, may mga utod ko sa Ginoo, may pangkot ako sa inyo. Ano inyo nga mga pamaagi agud nya matuituyan nyo or mag-guide yung inyong nga mga friends nyo or families nyo nga wala pa kilala kay Dino Ong Kristo. Ano inyong nga pamaagi? Nag- uh, reach out ka mo sa ila? Ginaupdan mo sila kung anong gusto nila nga himuon? So sa atong church, we tend to go uh, lots of ministries to reach out to them. Kis a, uh, na kung may mga times nga may mga bagyo gahatag kita sa mga relief goods di ba or uh, sa mga ano naman sa mga sometimes we do medical missions or how about sa personal lives sometimes may mga kilala kita dira we go uh, kung gahampang sila basketball we play basketball together with them but the question is in those kind of methods and processes na ginihimo ninyo, nagalabot bala sa ila ang pulong sa ginuho, does it uh, really hit the mark of targeting their heart nga maigo gid sa pulong sa ginuho ila tiki puso ko? So, I have this the message of the Lord uh, that I have this message of the Lord this afternoon. And I want uh, to propose to you this afternoon is that uh, to to target the real issue of the heart or the real issue of the of our uh, whole being nya kung sa diin nya maigo siya dapat san intakto nga nya pamaagi or pamtakto nga nga armas let's say nga nga maigo gid ang ang, ang sentro gid sa ato tigi puso before anything else, let us pray. Most gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you, Lord, so much for this afternoon you've given to us. May you protect us in this uh, uh, rainy uh, day. And I pray, dear Lord God, nya sa gihapon, ikaw gid ang magpabugtaw sa amon, i-open gid amon ginoong nga mga mata, amon niya mga dalunggan sa pagpamati, kag sa amon, dear Lord God, nya pagpamalandong, uh, sa sining hapon sa imo nga pulo in Jesus name we pray amen let me bring you here in mark chapter 2 verses 1 to 12 and i'm going to read this in english standard version mark chapter 2 verses 1 to 12 it says and when he returned to capernaum after some days it was reported that he was at home and many were gathered together, so that there was no more room, not even at the door. And he was preaching the word to them. And they came, bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. And when they could not get near him, near him because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And when they had made an opening, they let down the bed on which the paralytic lay. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there, questioning in their hearts, Why does this man speak like that? He is blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? And immediately Jesus, perceiving in his spirit that they thus questioned within themselves, said to them, Why do you question these things in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, 
your sins are forgiven. Or to say, rise, take up your bed, and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, pick up your bed, and go home. And he arose and immediately picked up his bed and went out before them all, so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw anything like this. So this is the passage, this passage talks about, about the paralytic man, or in other terms, the palsy man. So, uh, or let's say it is a disease called uh, paralysis. So we are familiar, or sa mga wala makabalo, ang paralysis is a form or is a disorder that kung sa diin, gina, it, is, uh, it affects your nervous system. So sa dunya science subject sa una no we are being uh, we learned and taught in school yeah, that the nervous system is consist of our brain our spinal column spinal spinal cord ang aton yung mga nervous cells dira ang aton yung mga neurons that connects from our brain down sa aton yung mga organs sa aton yung mga joints muscles na to sa aton yung mga bones and the uh, brain is the command center sang aton nya mga kulag from the time that we speak the time that we blink our eyes ang aton tanan nya they are responsible or the brain is responsible or a nervous system naton is responsible for the voluntary movements like maglakat ikaw magalsa ka sa imo nga kamot mag ano ka mag magkaon ikaw so it is uh, responsible na voluntary movements and mga also involuntary movements like for example magtulog kita nga nagatulog so wala na tayo nga panundom nga maginhawa kita sa tanga tulog kundi involuntary na sa so amo na siya ang mag- and also sometimes when we blink our eyes is up with it ang control nga voluntary ato nya pag blink sang eyes nato or even sa pag inhale nato but if but even nya at sa ato nga busy peak sang ato nya time we can do involuntary blink sang ato eyes or involuntary automatic na naga inhale exhale kita so amo na siya ang responsible okay sa ato nya mga students dira so tandaan yung gid na uh, always but there are some cases nga may mga disorders or uh, diseases nga naga-affect sa aton nga, nga nervous system and one of them is what we call uh, paralysis so it can be in an acute paralysis or to severe na paralysis so there are some nga uh, they are paralyzed lang nga from the half side sa ilang body may arat naman nga uh, other side na sa body ila yang nga na paralyzed or sometimes lower parts ng ilang body or upper part or just some portion sang ano na sa ilang lawas but the most uh, severe cases nga makita na din is that na uh, mga, mga people that are bedridden kumbaga they are paralyzed whole body kun natawo na to kun sa other terms sa iba pa nga mga nga mga disease or mga disorder or mga disease rather or like example sa comatose so they are just lying there in the bed whole day so, dire ang paralysis is not new na sa aton nga it's not just happening sa aton nga modern times but way back during the in Jesus time this uh, this kind of of, of diseases naga exist na siya and ang mga tawo sa una ang pagpati nila that once that you have a disease gina may ara sing uh, malain nya espiritu nga ara sa imo nga naga puyo uh, kanimo so here in the book of mark it was written by uh, one of the disciples of Jesus Christ mark himself and this uh, narrates the life of Jesus Christ as a servant makita diri naton ang iyang uh, nga mga miracles niya ang iyang nga mga parables and paano siya na ang iyang uh, niya journey niya on the perspective of 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 Mark 
And here, this is uh, to ang tawag na ito, hindi, wala na siya genealogy or lineage, just like uh, Matthew and Luke. It's because ang ilan ng audience are uh, the Gentiles. So, ang gusto nga ginapalagot ni Mark through this book, nga matuduan sila sa, uh, sa ano ni, ang about sa kay Jesus Christ as a servant, uh, being the son of God, being the son of man sa amuning uh, nga libro. And in this scenario, in Mark chapter 2, verses 1 to 12, ari ni sila sa Capernaum. So sa Capernaum, it is uh, the a region kung sa diin, dila ang balay ni, uh, dila nag-station, kumbaga, ang main station or headquarters nila. Dila nag star si Jesus Christ. So in this uh, chapter, bago na siya halin sa Galilee. So he performed the miracles there. They cast out. He even casted uh, casted out some some demons. And he went home to Capernaum here in chapter one. And he went and when he returned to Capernaum after some days, it was reported. It was reported that he was at home. So Jesus Christ in this time is well known sa mga tao. It's because Capernaum is a large town with about 1,500 residents and the major center trade and commerce in Galilee. So the international trade route from Egypt through Palestine to Syria and Mesopotamia passed by. So tanan nga mga countries and other regions, diri kung baga ang ilang uh, nga rota kung sa diin din na uh, deliver or naga ang ilang uh, na kalakal. So, damo, di rin mga negosyante. At the same time, di rin man naga, ano man ang mga tax collectors. Di rin sila naga collect sa ilang ng mga tax from uh, the people na ginabayad nila sa uh, government. So, because of the population nga di rin sa Capernaum, damo, adasik ang pag-spread sa, kumbaga, let's say, sa istorya sa kadamaan about sa kay Jesus Christ. And this time, people are wondering and questioning, who is this Jesus Christ? Ano ni siya yung klase nga tao nga naghimu ni siya mga mirakulo? So, people are so curious that they go sa balay mismo ni Jesus Christ to witness, uh, to witness His miracles right before their eyes. Uh, they also heard niya si Jesus Christ nagapanggulong siya, si Jesus Christ nagapangcast out siya sa mga demons, makapakita siya sa mga bulag, makaayos siya sa mga nagamasakit, makapalakat siya sa mga piang. But in this uh, situation, since uh, Jesus Christ was here in Capernaum, He didn't perform any miracles. He didn't perform any uh, any healings or type of healings. But rather, he was, I know there, uh, no niya siya, the many people gathered there, gathered together, kag nabatian nila si Jesus Christ that he is preaching. So before I go, for, I go further in this, uh, in this passage nga pag tunan natun sa sini nga hapon, let us remember that as community of believers uh, thriving in this unbelieving world, we dare to stand and make a difference to the people that surrounds us. So kita nga Kristohan, nga pangita, kita sa mga pamaagi, nga paano kita makareach out sa iba niya mga tao, nga wala pa kakilala sa kay Kristo, wala pa sing pagtuo nga, ara, nga nga makita lang kay Kristo. And I want to propose sa inyo sa sini nga hapon that the forgiveness of sin, o ang pagpatawad sa sala, amo ang tsakto nga ang makapaayo sa atun niya kaugalingon. The forgiveness of the sin is the true healing that only Christ can give. So ang question, ano ang bienhimo ni Jesus Christ or what did Jesus Christ did in order to release healing and, and uh, has the power to forgive uh, this and uh, to forgive sins of the people? In this time, they are questioning uh, Jesus Christ, uh, they are questioning Jesus Christ niya as a Messiah. It's because ila yung pagpati ya, that, um, that uh, ang Messiah is a king na mag rule over sa ila that they will uh, trample or they will, ano niya, that they will trample other kingdoms if protected sila 
Kumbaga, nang victorious king yun siya. But here, Jesus Christ uh, is being uh, illustrated or pictured out here in the book of Mark as a servant. As a uh, servanthood. No? Serving other people, uh, teaching other people, preaching to other people. And in here, makita natin the point, my point number one here this, this afternoon is that uh, in order nga makarelease siya sa healing and forgiveness sa mga tao is that he first preached the word. He didn't go immediately sa pag-heal na yun. He didn't go immediately sa pag-perform sa miracles. But rather, he preached the word. The word of God is preached through the Son of Man, which is Jesus Christ, who is the word himself. In John chapter 1, verse 4, it says, In him was life, and the, li and the life was the light of men. Jesus Christ is the light of himself is the life himself ara sa iya mismo ang kabuhi so amo ni ang gusto ya nga ginapalabot sa mga tawo nga magpamati sila sa pulong sa Ginoo and in the layon nga pagwali about kay Jesus Christ and continue nga the spread ang um, ang istorya that Jesus Christ was there there are four people or four men nga nagadali sila and they are carrying ang ilang uh, upod nga may paralysis uh, what I've mentioned kanina so he was bedridden kumbaga nagahigda na siya sa bilungang kabuhi so imagine halin sa gamay siya let's say sa gamay siya as nga nagtigulang siya wala siya nagahalin sa iya nga bed dira man siya da yun nagkaon dira man siya ginapaliguan and and ano pa gid dira na siya wala na siya wala siya galakat hindi siya kalakat hindi siya magusto kulag ang iya nga nga lawas and gasa for siya because of this uh, of this uh, sickness nga ginaago niya and this four men they are hoping nga magkadto sila kay Jesus Christ nga basi ma ano sila that ibasi nga ma-heal sila sa ida nga sa iya nga masakit so from the time that nagabot na sila sa sa balay ni Jesus Christ there are so many people here in fact here in verse 4 and when in verse 3 and they came uh, bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men and when they could not get near him house because of the crowd they removed the roof above him and when they had made an opening they let they they let down the bed on which the paralytic Lay. So, tungo sa kadamo sa tao, nablakingan ang pertahan. So, kumbaga, hindi sila ka, ka makadinaguso or makadaguso dito or makapaveway para mapaagi ito nilang a friend. Imagine ang muna kadamo sa mga tao ang gusto nga magwitness sa kay Jesus Christ. So, ang ilang himuon, ang ilang, ilang ginhimo is that instead nga magagi sila sa pertahan, they went up to the roof. So, ang mga balay sa mga Israelites ang una, they don't, ang ilang staircase is not uh, found within si ilang balay, but rather sa sagwa. Kung dila maagi sila sa sagwa para makato sa second floor. And dito, ginpuho nila, o ginpuhuan nila, ang ato sa balay na ginawali ni Jesus Christ. Imagine, gawali, gawali ka na, gulpi lang ah, malusbot dirang imo ato. So, imagine how uh, how funny or awkward ang muna nga Nga, nga situation. So, not only that Jesus Christ preached the word, and he also sees, he sees the faith and forgives the sins of those who have faith in him. So, dire makita natun even further that these four men are persevered, nagtinguha gin sila, nga yung mapadalong nila, ilang uh, nga upod nila, para mahil nila so uh, gin aryahan lang nila ang gin alalayan na nila ang ano ni ang ilang uh, upod so that nga ma, because they are hoping the pangyadi the panginyadi sila nga ma nga mahil siya in here naghamba diri dayon si Jesus Christ and as if we observe thoroughly si Jesus Christ never never said that you are healed Wala yagin heal ang, ang, ang paralytic man before him. 
he never laid hands sa ano ni he never laid hands sa amo nga tawo but rather nagamba siya in verse 5 and when Jesus saw their faith he said to the paralytic son your sins are forgiven so ang question dira so what's the connection ano connection of being forgiven of your sins uh, sa pag-heal sa imong lawas what is the connection uh, to it and that is uh, one of the uh, uh, conflicts or ang mga nag uh, contradict sa kay Jesus Christ the Pharisees or ang mga priests so ang mga Pharisees nga they are an influential group of 6,000 men or more and ilang a goal uh, for about 150 years was that Israel would stay true to Judaism and never go back to idolatry and then so they emphasize keeping every bit of law of Moses or a mosaic law plus may arap nga sila gindugang 100 plus of man-made laws so since the Pharisees found that other Jews were not careful in keeping those laws they looked on other people as tainted by sin and therefore to be avoided so amuni sila ka ano ni ginatuwag um discriminating so amuna nga pagkita once that they see a sick person especially a person with a leprosy or a leper person yung may leper nagaano gid sila gapalay is because that person is tainted by sin wala sila ga, ga palapit sa mga sa mga amuni nga mga klase nga mga tawo sa mga tawo sa mga people nga hindi nila ma-maintain ang law of Moses and this other hundred laws nga ginahim ginapropose sa mga Pharisees so by Jesus day they had become so so self-satisfied with their law keeping that they were hard-hearted to the things of God and his people so nangin ignorante sila nangin selfish sila thinking abi nila sila ang pinaka perfect person so that time when Jesus Christ said to the paralytic man that your son your sins are forgiven na natingala di sila sing o kay mo yang makapatawad kaya sa sala sing tao yahaw so amo na gina gina question ni ni, ni sa mga Pharisees if I'm, uh, if we read here in verses uh, in verse seven, uh, in verse se in six and seven, now some of the scribes, now some of the scribes were sitting there questioning in their hearts, why does this man speak like that? And he is blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? So wala sila na dapati that si Jesus Christ is the Son of God, is the Son of Man. Pero dapati na sila sa sa ginoo wala ni lagi na pati ang ang humanity or ang ang tauhanon niya ang pagka ang pagkatao or ang tauhanon niya form ni Jesus Christ and here in verse 9 the Lord Jesus Christ ang ginoo Jesus Kristo nagsining diri which is easier to say to the paralytic your sins are forgiven or to say you rise pick up your bed and go home so the regin pakita mismo ni Jesus Christ the authority nga ginhatag si iya sa sa ano ni sa ginugo that in verse 10 but that you may know that the son of man has authority on earth to forgive sins so paano ginimo ni Jesus Christ to release forgiveness or to 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 release healing number 1 he preached the word Number two, he sees the faith of those people who believe in him. And number three, he exercises his authority as the Son of Man. As a Son of Man, as a, a, a Son of God. Son of Man is because uh, he, uh, uh, he is uh, a God in a human form. At the same time, he is the Son of God. So, ang siya ang kumbaga ang... Ang, ang doctrine or the Christology or ang doctrine about Jesus Christ being full God and full man at the same time. Hindi na siya yung 50%, 50% lang or, or ano lang siya ng 50-50% but rather 100% uh, gin siya. Or let's say we don't use 
the term 100%, a full God and full man at the, he is a fully God and fully man at the same time. And if we read further, in verse 10, uh, naghambal siya, in verse 11, I say to you, hambal, sa paralytic, sa, sa may, paral- may paralysis, I say to you, rise, pick up your bed, and go home. And he rose immediately and picked up his bed. So out of nowhere, din ka na, nahigda lang siya, bedri, din siya for, pila for the, for the, for all of his life. And then, in just a snap of a finger, good pila siya nagtindog. Kagin pick up yung iyabanig. Kag naglakat siya in the midst sa amutong a crowd. Outside sa balay na ginatinira ni Jesus Christ. And everyone that was there was so amazed. And nagambar sila mismo that we never saw anything like this. Wala pa kami nakikita na amunik klase na nga hinatabo sa ang kabuhi. Yeah. So, amun na ang mystery sang healing ni Jesus Christ. Amun na ang mystery or ang um, ang mystery sa ano niya sang ginuho sang iya nga pagka Josya sa tauhan nun niya nga nabutang. So, we can really see here in in our point number three which he exercises his authority no the Pharisees unbelief no wala siya kapati that Jesus Christ is the son of God and the son of man and wala siya kapati sang authority ni Jesus Christ that he can forgive sins and number two is the paralyzed man's belief that despite of you know being bedridden for all of those years dito ka lang mismo nagput sang dito lang siya mismo nagput sang faith niya sa Ginoo so diri na ton masiling that the total forgiveness of man's sins led him to the total healing of his sickness that is the core issue sang tagipusuod sang tao Jesus Christ didn't target just the physical well-being sang person but rather ang pinaka issue which is the spiritual well-being the for, uh, to for, to be forgiven sang mga sala sang uh, paralitiko to nga na tao that is the greatest need of a man man's greatest need is the forgiveness uh, be given by Christ the greatest need of man of a man is not it's not just the healing of the body or it's not the healing of the body but the forgiveness of his sins amo na pinaka importante gid everything on the yun will just will just follow amo na nga ang the problem of the problem is not uh, uh, the problem mismo the problem is the heart the core issue ang heart natin is tainted uh, by by sin, by doubt, by unbelief. And dito mismo gipakita ni Jesus Christ, iyang authority as a son of God. Gipakita, iya gimanifest si dito that he is not just an ordinary person, but uh, but are not just an ordinary man, but a uh, a son of man who can truly forgive the sins of the of many or the sins of man. At the same time, uh, able to heal all kinds of sickness and diseases. What can we learn here? Sa amuninga, and how can we apply the truth, the uh, truth that we can, that we have learned this afternoon? Always remember that as a community of believers, mga utigos kino. Always remember that it is. Uh, our job is not just to cater the the physical needs or the emotional needs sa mga tao. Let's say yes, mahatagan tada sa mahatagan tada sa sing ano ni ng pagkaon. Yes, he will mabusog siya for pila days. After na da yun, ano naman matabog siya. O in emotional needs, makakomfort na makakounsel ta sa ato niya mga uh, sa mga kilala natin sa atong labo. But without uh, conquering or without uh, targeting the real issue of the heart, it all comes to waste. 
Though parehas man nabala si Isaac, a Chinese proverb, uh, teach a man, uh, give a man a fish, and he will, and he can, uh, ano niya, he can eat for a day, no? But teach a man how to fish, and uh, he will, he can eat for the rest of the life. So, uh, it's a weak illustration. Pero kung lang tawo na, kung do, nang, kung sige lang tawo, for example, hatag lang na hatag, nga, ano lang, kung wala natin gina, gina target mismo, or ma-miss natin ang mark sa, uh, in targeting the greatest need, uh, hindi natin na kaya of our own strength. Just like what this, uh, the paralytic, uh, this four men nga nagdala sa, sa, kay, sa paralytic man yan eh. They know that they, they, ha- they believe and they have faith that they that Jesus Christ can heal their friend that can heal their paralytic friend and that's their persever that, that's why they persevered nga to nga magkadto sila sa kay Jesus Christ and made paved uh, the way para nga mapalabot si ila sa mapalabot nila ila nga friends kay Jesus Christ because they believe there is action there is a response nga mag go further ka nga mag kadto ka nga mag nga magpalapit ka gid sa kay Jesus Christ. Ang mo nagalik that when times that are tough, when times that we don't know what to do, we come to Christ. When times that uh, we are we, we don't have anything to give, we lead that person to Christ. And that's why in my in the application that I want or the practical truths that I want to share to you this this afternoon is that uh, to confess your faith through the Lord Jesus Christ, we must uh, lead our, our, our friends, our families, to lead them to confess their faith through the Lord Jesus Christ. And, or, uh, and to uh, lead them to accept Christ as their personal Savior and Lord. That is the main issue of, of the heart. Is to uh, ano siya, kung baga kusiun ang ibong nga, balatsyago niya, makabatsyag kasing sakit. Nga makabatsyag kasang, sa ano niya, nga hindi ka bala mangin manhid. So, amun niya ang gin, uh, ginhimo sa, uh, sa uh, amun niya ginhamba sa Bible sa atin. So, not only that, I mean, number one, not only, uh, uh, before confessing uh, our, our faith through Jesus, through the Lord Jesus Christ, we must first share the faith those who don't know about Jesus Christ. We have so many ministries, we have so many programs para ma-reach out natin, maka-share kita ng faith. We have basketball ministries, we have online ministries, prayer meeting, um, youth camps, conferences, na, ano pag ini siya, mga uh, uh, um, seminars and trainings, and um, so much more. But wala ni sila tanan pulos if we don't target the real issue of the heart by the word of God. Wala pulos ang atun feeding program if we don't ish or we don't uh, or target the the hearts of the people that need that has a great need of the forgiveness of the Lord Jesus Christ. So amo na siyang himuon na that as brothers and sisters in Christ, let us share and lead the faith or lead them nga magpalapit sila sa kay Jesus Christ. And the number two is to confess the faith through our Lord Jesus Christ. In Acts 16.31, to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved, you will be saved. And as you share, hindi na sila makashare if you don't, uh, hindi na sila maka-accept Jesus Christ if they don't first hear the word of God. So, a faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So you must meet lang gid si imong abakba through your words about Jesus Christ because that is the greatest need of man's soul. And number 3 is that stand firm in your faith to Jesus Christ. May mga times that the Pharisees are spreading rumors during sa Jesus nga time are sp- spreading lies and doubts that he is not the Messiah, he is not the Son of God, he is not the coming King that they are um, 
But let us remember that uh, the testing of our faith produces steadfastness. When times that we, we doubt, for the times that we are uh, 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 being in chaos or in confusion, let us remember to be steadfast and to stand firm in the faith that we have in Jesus Christ. So we must share the faith, to confess the faith, and to stand firm in the faith that we have in Jesus Christ. Man's greatest need is not just the physical needs, the mental needs, or the emotional needs, but the mo more impor most important need is to target the spiritual need of a man's soul. And that is the forgiveness through our Lord Jesus Christ, being the Son of Man and the Son of God. Let us pray. Most gracious and loving Heavenly Father, we praise you. Thank you, Lord, so much for this evening. Again, hatag mo ginoo. Kapasalamat kami ginoo. Again, hatag mo imo nga buktong anak nga si Jesus Christo. Agud siya ang namatay para sa amun niya yung mga sala. And ginoo na mga pangal kami kapatawaran sa mga sala nga nahimu. Namun, may mga times, dear Lord God, that we are we doubt sa amun niya faith. There were times, dear Lord God, that we are that our faith is uh, being uh, uh, wavered. I pray, dear Lord God, nga gamitun mo kami as community of believers, nga mag-reach out pagid kami sa iba niya mga tao, that to use the ministries, to use the programs of the church to target the real issue of the heart, nga malid na mo sila, dear Lord God, to you to confess their faith and to accept uh, to, uh, for them to accept you, O Lord, and as they are personal Savior and Lord in their life. And teach us, dear Lord God, ngamangin, uh, nga, hindi kami, dear Lord God, mag, we'll just stand there, ngamangin, ngamangin stagnant kami. But rather, teach us, dear Lord God, parihas sa mga four men nga nagdala sa ilang apparatic friend. Teach us, dear Lord God, dadal on manamon amon niya mga uh, iksuo namun, dalun man namun amun niya mga, niya mga kilala namun, pagkato sa kay Kristo. Kinasalig ka ginagtugyan namun tanan sa imo ang amun niya mga uh, desires ang amun niya tagipusuko. Sa nga ni Christ Jesus, Amen. Okay, mayong gabigid, kaag salamat gid sa tanan.